YouTube channel The Molecular Biologist. Today I'm going to give you a very brief explanation about how to extract the nucleic acid using phenol chloroform method. I'm going also to explain uh, how to prepare phenol at different pH so you can extract different nucleic acid. So please join me and so, have some fun. So it's phenol chloroform. The first step is to prepare phenol. So preparation phenol solution. This can be done in two different pH. So if we want to extract DNA, we have to prepare phenol at pH 8. And to do that, we will take five, about 5 grams, for example, of phenol. And we will mix it with a 5 ml of tris. Normally, tris can be used in concentration of 50 millimolar. H8. After mixing these two solutions, you it is important to incubate the mixture in room temperature for about one hour. So this will lead to form a two layers. After, if you mix the solution, if you mix the solution well, so after dissolving the phenol with a tris, if you leave the phenol for about one hour, you will get a tube like that. Sorry. There will be a phase separation. So all phenol will be at the bottom layer, while the trace will be at the top layer. So after the f one hour, you will remove all the trace. So this will discard. And then you will add again 5 mol so that will be the tube that will be the phenol in red which is the normal color and then you will add again 5 mol of stress Mix it well, leave it again for five minutes. And after the five minutes, again, there will be a phase separation. So that's the phenol and that's the tris. And again, wash the phenol with the, phen with the tris by discard discarding or removing all the layer of a trace and then adding the same volume of a fresh trace pH 8. So this repeats about five times. After five times you can measure the pH of the trace after the phase separation in the five times. Here. And you can see that the pH of this buffer will be 8. So now the phenol is ready to be used. Normally what I'm doing in my lab is mixing 1x of phenol with 1x 
of chloroform. And after that, I will take one X of cyanide, which containing the, DNA, the nucleic acids. So that's the cyanide containing nucleic acid plus proteins plus other components of the cell. such as lipids such as carbohydrates and other mineral salts okay so for example if we take Five microliters of cell lysate. This will be mixed with five microliters of phenol plus fifty sorry, fifty milli microliters of chloroform. And then mix it well, mixing by pipettes. Centrifuge the sample, spinning, and you will get three different layers. So if we have this tube here, the microfuge tubes, you can see clearly that after centrifuge for about 5-10 minutes it's enough you will find here the red layers of phenol you will see a ring of white color and this is normally the co-agulated proteins and at this top layer your sample contain a mixture of DNA plus RNA and in order to remove the RNA you have to use RNAs so after this step we'll take only the the top layer and again we will mix it with a one volume of phenol and chloroform And by repeating that about three times, you can get a very clear sample of... So basically, you will take the phenol chloroform, you will mix it again with the top layer, which is containing the nucleic acid. And after mixing that, you will centrifuge it, you will get also the phase separation. But at the second time, you will lose the, the, the ring layers or the ring layers will be uh, very weak. And remember that every time by using by repeating the phase separation using phenol chloroform, you will lose uh, some amount of nucleic acid, but you will get a high purity of the sample. Remember, the phenol is quite dangerous. It can cause a skin uh, burning if 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 the phenol being in contact with your skin, and it also has a very um, discomfortable smelling that can cause uh, harmful effects in your respiratory system so you have to wear gloves you have to wear also goggles and uh, mask so that's the end and please if you enjoy my youtubes don't forget to subscribe